Good morning, everybody. Welcome with, to Knitting with Nancy. I'm Nancy here at the Stitch and Post with Val in Sisters, Oregon. Just want to let you know where we are for some who don't know. Um, and the first thing I want to ask everybody today is, do you get our Tuesday newsletters? Because every Tuesday, um, we're actually going to do needle arts on Tuesday's newsletters, but featuring yarn and different needle arts that we have here at the store other than fabrics and quilts. Because if you know us, we diverse into other areas. Um, one of which we like uh, is embroidery, and we have a lot of books on embroidery and different things. And the other is, and we're gonna showcase this in a minute, um, the different embroidery kits that we featured yesterday. And cross stitch, excuse me. They're all cross stitch, few embroideries. But what I first want to talk about, because it is knitting, is the new yarn that came in. And this is Millie Fiori Light Lux. And we have six new colors. It is a new yarn for Barocco. It's absolutely gorgeous. Bless you, Val. Um, it is a DK weight. It is 350 yards, so it's got great yardage for $16. It is 50% acrylic, 43% wool, 6% nylon, and 1% other fibers. The other fiber is the Lurex that you see of the sparkle. Now, Barocco does a really cool thing, is that their colors kind of go across a palette through a number of yarns. So for those of you who loved sesame or tiramisu, which we brought in first, um, you're going to see a similarity in palette colors um, to this, which is really cool for when you're knitting and you want to do different yarns in the same project. Some of you know I did a stash buster sweater. And although we might have been on size seven needles, we used all different yarns. Um, what I like about something like that and some of the sweaters is you can focus on a color and then bring in other yarns to highlight that or to change it up. I'm gonna showcase four patterns today. The first is actually a pattern book by Barocco that we have that has lots of patterns in it. It is beautiful. Um, I am going to do in January, and I've stated this before, a Wednesday knit along sweater, probably starting mid-January, second week, third week, um, just so everybody gets over their New Year's um, celebrations. And I'm gonna have three choices there, two sweaters, um, one is your go-to cardigan, one is the quintessential cardigan, kind of the same, one is a crew neck, one is a v-neck, but then I like this library vest, so I'm actually going to do the vest. All of these take a DK weight yarn, and so you might want to use the Millie Fiori Light Lux because uh, it's a beautiful yarn. Like I said, it adds a little bit of a sparkle to it, a little glitzy, um, but not high glitz, which is something I like. Um, we are going to talk about how yarns um, interact with one another and how you can put two yarns together to make a DK weight. But to get you ready for the holiday and to use this sparkle yarn, we've brought in two books that have projects. And again, those who know me know I love Judith Durant. She has um, edited these books. This is Luxury Yarn, One Skein Wonders. So the idea is you could buy a skein and do a multitude of different projects in here. These are all knitting, um, hats, uh, booties, to, uh, I love the elephant, uh, actually they're called, um, it's a little hat, um, little sweaters, uh, scarves, my favorite scarf, if I can quickly find it, I had my finger on it before, those who know me, I love lace, 
I always say that like you all know me. Um, we're getting to be good friends in this program. Um, but this is a beautiful, uh, easy little neck warmer for this winter. Well, there we go. I, here it is. Doing a slip stitch kind of goes on an angle. Really cool pattern. Um, this one is actually done in cashmere. You could do it in any yarn, though. Um, it's just beautiful, and it's very cozy. So great new book. For those who are crocheters, of course, I flunked crocheting. Uh, Paula here is a really good crocheter. Um, we also brought in the Crochet One Skein Wonders. And as promised, and probably next week I'll do some more increases and decreases from this book. Um, this is a great book, goes into the different types of increases and decreases. I use this book to show you um, a make one left and make one right a couple of weeks ago. And I'm going to go through here and do some decreases um, in SSK for those who don't know different ways how to do it to either throw your stitches to the right or to the left. So stay tuned for next week. Um, the other new yarn I want to show, lots of new stuff today. This is a new yarn from Scassell Schopel. It is a fingering weight. What I love about these and why I wanted to showcase them today, we have three colors. We have five more on order. They should be here within a week or two weeks. These are up online. But if you notice, it goes from a solid, and then it adds one strand of black, two strands, three, four, five, all the way to black. Same here with the yellow and white, probably my favorite because I'm a yellow and the pink. Uh, probably Val's favorite because she loves pink, I think. But these go right into this one skein project book that you could do anything in a gradient. Um, very cool. You will have, let me get the yardage on this. I have to open it up. I'm sorry. They are $30. And I want to say it is 100% virgin wool. 400 meters, about 432 yards, roughly. Um, really beautiful yarns. So next I wanted to showcase what we did do in the newsletter yesterday. And like I said, if you're not signed up for our newsletter, please sign up. You can go right to our website. I think you'll enjoy them. Um, I know we do a lot of uh, sewing and different things. But like I said, Tuesday's focus is... Um, on all our yarn and our needle arts here. So today I want to show our new cross stitch and embroidery kits. And I wanted to show you, this is also one of my passions. Um, I learned about, I, I am horrible at cross stitch. My daughter is excelling in it right now um, on it. So I've sent her some kits and different things. I just love them. Um, all of these are up online. My favorite is the DIY embroidery kit with the tree, just because it reminds me of the fall and the colors. I'm a sage girl, I guess. Um, but they're all unique, beautiful. What's really cool is they come complete. For instance, this one, which is $20. Um, and what I really like is, and I'm going to turn this around, Val, it tells you the difficult level. So this is a zero, um, which means I could do this, um, knowing that I am cross-stitch, uh, not very good at it, impaired. but it, impaired, good word. But it comes with the embroidery hoop, the cross-stitch pattern, the 14-count Aida cloth, tapestry needles, all the floss you need, batting for framing, felt for backing, and hand-drawn instructions specific to our kits. And they're $20. So it's a really good gift, something to make for a gift. This could be a holiday ornament. Um, I love the DIYs also come with the embroidery hoops. This one would be more my favorite because it's embroidery. Again, it comes with everything you need to succeed, meaning the hoop, 
Um, and it, I'm a hedgehog lover, so thus I pull, pulled this one um, on it, and it explains the stitches. And to go a little further in, and I'm going to make some room here, what I wanted to show is we have also a pocket embroidery guide. So if you're new to embroidery, but you want something pretty basic and not go, and I'm going to show you one or two stitches. This is five, uh, $4.95, um, but it's quite extensive for what you get. I also love that it's plastic coated, so when I spill my coffee, uh, I can't ruin it. <laughs> How do I know I've spilled coffee before? Um, for those who know my passion of it, I have started with Sue Spargo. I never knew about Sue Spargo till I moved out here. Um, I had a lot of friends who did uh, stitching, Alabama Shannon. I showed you um, uh, KZ Stevens bags that I made her bags and embroidered on them. Um, almost everything there I've learned from Sue Spargo's creative stitching book. And I'm going to show you two tools today and then just a quick little back stitch tip. What I love about this book is it goes really in depth and I'm going to have Val swing around. So not only does it go into all the needles and threads um, on it and the different threads you can use for the embroidery, it then goes through all the stitches. Now Sue Spargo likes to do almost everything on wool, but she does use uh, Sashiko now uh, in some of her work, and if you know her block by month uh, tutorials, she's doing some now um, for, it's just kind of cool, but she goes through and really gives good instructions on a variety of stitches. Um, to go back to this real quick, what this spider web. Um, I always had an issue on how to get my spokes even. And then I found this really easy little tool called Spoke Easy. And we have them here at the store. They're $22.95. Uh, this cardboard paper that you do is just a protective. But if you notice, you can draw in whatever size spoke you want. Um, and then they're even, which is brilliant to me uh, because I uh, don't do them very well. Why do you need so many? They're all different sizes. So if you notice, this has five on it. But if I turn to the back one, it has 10. Okay, gotcha. So you have all different size spokes. Sorry, and I'm what that sorry. can come, I'm sorry, I probably no. didn't state it. And again, it's $22.95 and we have these available. But if you come back to this little chart, what's neat here is once you've drawn, you can then wind your yarn around. There's all different things you can do um, with this spokes and fill-ins and different ideas. I am going to show you today a back stitch. Um, this is 100% wool felt that we carry here at the store. They're little six inch squares, excuse me, five inch squares for $1.25. Um, some of our threads, we have lots of threads. Again, they're all up online, different weights. I picked bright orange because we're in October and it's Halloween. Um, I want to show a really easy way to thread your needle. Now I am using a milliner um, needle with this. A lot of people have issues uh, threading needles. I think I've shown this once before. If you yank it tightly around the needle and pull off and pinch between your thumb and forefinger, then you can feed it right through the eye of the needle. And it becomes really easy to do. If not, we do have needle threaders here. So to do a back stitch, and again, I'm going to show you how I do my knots at the end here. I will hold, and I do um, this knot for almost anything I'm doing. I'll lay my needle over it. 
I'll go around once, twice, sometimes three if I'm using um, a 12 gauge. Uh, it depends. But then I hold it again between my thumb and forefinger, and I put it around my fingers so I don't, and just pull right through. And there you have your knot. Um, and you don't have to go crazy trying to make a knot at the end. So if I pull this up straight up through, the idea of a back stitch is it's an outline stitch. You can outline different things. Uh, you could use it as a filler stitch. Um, again, the length that you go down um, isn't necessarily universal. Maybe it is. I do about an eighth, um, not even. And I'll come through down below. And what you're trying to do is then you go up the same amount that you just went down. And again, sometimes if depending on the thread, I'll use my thumb to hold it in place. And if you notice, I have a gap here because I'm always going back, right down, right next to the hole that I started with. And again, the same space I'm going to come up in front. So it's a really easy, fun stitch to do. Um, I like it because it makes it easy for me to do curves, to outline different things. And if you notice, because I'm not perfect, I left a gap here by mistake. Um, the neat thing, you can always come back out and do it. Um, I am not very uh, proficient, let's use that word, as I am in knitting. So I can't say that all my back stitches are even. Um, very organic. Speaking of which, we have a book called Organic Embroidery, um, which is a really neat book as well. Um, so you can turn this into a pumpkin. Um, you can go straight. You can make leaves. Um, one of the classes we have today, Tony, uh, Phillips, which we have a lot of her patterns, is teaching today is a needle roll, and she'll probably go over a lot of these stitches. So quick little embroidery tutorial on it um, for it again, different things we have here at the shop. Uh, next week I'll get back to a knitting technique. Again, I'll probably be using my increase, decrease book. Um, we're trying to, we have been trying, we've been out of stock of the cast on bind off. So I haven't been able to go back to that book till we get it back in stock. It seems to be on back order repeatedly every week. Um, so we'll try again this week to get it back in because again, I love that book. But this is our newest one and I'm going to do a lot from this. Um, mainly because this is how you can shape things and do things. So I hope you enjoyed today. Please go up on our website at the Stitch and Post. Um, check out all our embroidery kits and our yarn, please. These are all available online, as are all our books. Hope you have a great week. Stay well. And, excuse me? Remember to vote. And remember to vote. Absolutely. Um, as a matter of fact, we do early voting, mail-in voting here in Oregon, so I already dropped mine off at Town Hall. Um, I don't know other places, polling places, if they're open. Please wait in line. It is important um, to move forward with this, regardless of what side of the fence you're on. Um, everybody's voice matters, as Val keeps saying and telling her kids and stuff. So thank you. Have a great day. Enjoy the fall weather. It's finally fall here. I love it. Um, it's my favorite season. Bye.